Two balls, two strikes, a count on Sanchez. The kick from Manning, the pitch, swing, and a miss, and the bat goes flying over the Caps' dugout for out number two. Big strikeout for Manning, and some theatrics to go along with it. Two gone here in the sixth. Here's Arias now. First pitch from Manning outside, 1-0. Diamondbacks and Rockies are scoreless in the first, as are the Mets and Astros. And later tonight, the Athletics and Mariners play. And the Dodgers and Padres will wrap up a doubleheader with the back end coming up in about two hours. It's the out-of-town scoreboard for you. Arias is 0-for-1. He struck out his first time up. Here's the 1-0 pitch. This one's outside. Two balls, no strikes. Next level manufacturing tonight, Nick Brown's bachelor party. Final last it. So 2-0 the count on Gabriel Arias. Eight strikeouts for Manning. We see a double-digit strikeout performance from Manning tonight. Fort Wayne Tin Caps have to cooperate, and for that matter, so does Mother Nature. Here's the set. The 2-0. Inside. Off the glove of Longley. Ball got away from him, but over at first is Marcus Green. It wasn't far enough for him to advance. Starting to see some wind here at the ballpark, and it's always an ominous sign. You know, the Caps would love to get through five and a half innings, but from what we understand, we're going to get some rain, but we should be able to pick up where we left off at some point throughout the course of the evening. The only thing is, is that Matt Manning might not be here when it's time to restart. Here's his 3-0 pitch. This one's in there for a called strike three and one. So... Even though he is cruising right now, this could be one of the last batters that Manning faces tonight, depending on what happens with the weather. He's got a three-ball, one-strike count on Gabriel Arias. Here's the set. 3-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Even on a 3-1 pitch, he's powering fastballs by people. Three balls and two strikes on Arias. Boy, and that's... Partially on areas, too. If you don't know that a fastball is coming right there, that's on you. Let's see if Manning can make him pay for it. Three balls, two strikes to count. Looking to tie his career high. The 3 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. It's strike three and the ninth strikeout for Matt Manning tonight. Two gone. Here's Trammell now to the plate with first and second and two outs. Here's the set from Manning after the conversation with his pitching coach. First pitch is outside, gets away from Longley, and both runners are going to move up. So a wild pitch there from Manning. Puts runners at second and third now with two outs, and now the pressure's on for the former first-round pick. You know, when I was here, you know, when I was playing ahead, you know, you had the Edmonds and the Andrew Joneses and obviously the, the Griffey Jr. So everyone had a dynamic uh, to what they did. Oh, Carlos Beltran. Carlos Beltran was a very, very good two-way, middle-of-the-order type of guy. Sure. Playing every day. So, switch hitter. Big, 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 big guy. One ball, no strikes to count. Manning's going to go from the windup. Here's the kick now. Here's his 1-0 pitch. Trammell fouls it off the mask of the catcher, Longley. 1-1. One -on -one. And you kind of talked about those guys with longevity. How did you get by so many years in Major League Baseball? It's so tough to play as long as a guy like you played. Uh, a lot of it was just uh, just desire, the willing, you know, my pain threshold was <laughs> probably way too high. Um, and uh, really, it's kind of like I got as I got older, I started, I took better care of myself, hmm. in, in a sense. One ball, one strike, the count on Trammell. Bluffing down that third baseline is Beltre. Here's the kick from Manning. Now the 1-1 pitch, curveball, <laughs> outside corner, called strike two. One and two, the count. We're here with former Major League All-Star and Gold Glove Award winner Mike Cameron. Appreciate having you along with us for this one here tonight. Definitely. I feel like I'm in my element. <laughs> you know we're going to try to keep you for the bottom of the fist so we can watch Daz hit. That's cool. <laughs> one ball, two strikes to count. But we got to get Manning through this inning first. He stepped off the mound briefly. There is some activity in Dayton's bullpen. Joe Kunal was warming up. We may see him. If that's still who's warming for the Dragons in the bottom of the fifth, might just be a four-inning night for Tony Santian. Trent Skutnik is now warming for the West Michigan Whitecaps. Manning's got nine strikeouts in this one tonight through four and two-thirds. Now he's in a pressure spot. Second and third with two outs. The one-two to Trammell outside. Two balls, two strikes. This is probably going to be the last inning for Manning. 
Trammell with just one base hit in this series, and it was a big one. A little bloop single in the left field that gave the Dayton Dragons their first run in game two. It was nearly enough to win the game on its own. Now it's a 2-2 count. Manning looking for a strikeout. 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. Ball got away from Longley. Throws to first. Completes the strikeout. Ten strikeout night for Matt Manning through five innings of one-run baseball tonight. 